BMW is leading the luxury segment into a new era that will be shaped by innovations in the fields of sustainability and digitalization. With the new BMW 7 Series, the world's most successful manufacturer of premium vehicles is creating forward-looking ways to enjoy driving pleasure, unsurpassed long-distance comfort, and a top-end digital experience. The production of the new 2023 BMW 7 Series was set to begin this summer with deliveries starting later this winter of 2022. You will be able to buy the car from your nearest dealerships after November of this year. BMW says the new 7 Series platform was designed to be flexible for a range of three different drive types from the outset, including the two new mild hybrid models announced today, a future plug-in hybrid and the i7 fully electric, and all three powertrains can be outfitted within a single assembly line at BMW's Dingolfing plant. Central to this reinterpretation is the BMW i7. The all-electric luxury sedan is a fully integrated member of the model family and clearly demonstrates how an exclusive driving experience and the ultimate feeling of onboard well-being can be combined with an unwavering commitment to sustainability. The base 740i variant is expected to start at around $95,000, which is more expensive than the previous gen model. The 760i will start at a price of around $1,000. $115,000. As always, we have a bonus fact for you towards the very end, so don't forget to stay tuned. With that being said, let's get into more specifications. Number 1. Performance BMW is confident they have pre-programmed the new 7's powertrain development to be compliant with global regulation expectations beyond 2030. The 4.4-liter turbocharged V8 gets a new cross-bank exhaust manifold, added external oil cooling with a new oil pump and lighter oil sump, and improved turbocharger performance. And it's linked to a 48-volt mild hybrid starter generator system connected to a new 8-speed sport transmission with adaptive recuperation or regenerative braking. The new V8 is good for 536 horsepower, which has the same output as the new i7 with peak torque of 553 pound-feet. It gets from 0 to 60 miles per hour in an estimated 4.2 seconds. The new 760i is joined by the 2023 BMW 740i S Drive, which gets an upgraded Miller Cycle 3.0-liter turbocharged i6 engine with redesigned combustion chambers and intake ports, variable camshaft timing, and it's also linked to a 48-volt mild hybrid system with the new sport transmission. The updated i6 mild hybrid setup makes 375 horsepower and peak torque of 383 pound-feet. Though you can briefly get up to 398 pound-feet with an acceleration boost feature, BMW claims it gets from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds. BMW confirmed to journalists Lists in a roundtable meeting last week that there would be no feature V12 offering outside of the Rolls-Royce catalog. The onboard 48-volt system is good for an additional 147 pound-feet of torque and a boosted power output of 12 horsepower, sucking energy from a 48-volt battery under the trunk that is recharged by the regenerative braking system. It can also feed power to the car's 12-volt electrical system. The all-electric i7 model features a heated 101.7 kilowatt hour battery pack linked to two electric motor drive units one on each axle dropping a combined output of 536 horsepower and 549 pound feet of torque specifically tuned to closely match its sibling 760i ice model number two drive and platform the new 7 sits on a wider track growing 1.9 inches up front and 0.16 inches in the rear and rides on larger wheels and wider tires for improved body rigidity and handling capability. It rides on revised double wishbone front suspension and a five-link rear suspension setup with a new elastic steering gear mounting to improve acoustic properties and new hydro mounts for the rear axle that improve ride comfort. All 7 Series models get standard two-axle adaptive air suspension with auto self-leveling and electronically controlled dampers with localized balancing of the air supply at each wheel, which helps maintain optimum ride height even at high speeds. Ride height drops 0.4 inch in sport mode, and the car will drop that much no matter what at speeds above 87 miles per hour. Alternatively, the suspension can optionally be raised by 0.8 inch. 
BMW's all-wheel steer system, Integral Active Steering, is optional on the 740i but standard on the 760i X-Drive, which reduces the car's turning radius by 2.5 feet. Number 3. Interior There's a huge new curved display featuring BMW's latest version of iDrive infotainment, stretching from the center console to behind the steering wheel. Gesture control is still a thing, and the new interior layout is specifically mapped for gestures like hand waving, spinning, etc. and voice control with minimal touch points. A new BMW interaction bar turns the crystal train strip into a touch-sensitive control panel featuring climate control, hazard lights, glove compartment opening and the door close button. Merino leather is standard on the 760i X drive and the six cylinder BMW 740i is upholstered with a new Veganza leather like material available in four colors. A roof mounted camera lets the driver peer into the rear seats but also lets owners check in on the car remotely using the vehicle's paired phone application. BMW says it can also take selfies of the occupants if you want. The new 7 also comes comes with two 5G-compatible mobile chips, one for the vehicle systems and another personal one that can be optioned for making calls and connecting to internet-connected applications on the new curved display. In the rear, the Bowers and Wilkins Diamond surround sound system with headset speakers can be utilized for making and accepting phone calls. The new 7's piece de resistance is the optional $4,750 rear theater experience that is as ridiculous as it sounds. A 31.3-inch 8K touchscreen display with Amazon Fire TV is mounted to the roof in the rear passenger area and electronically folds up and out of the way when not in use. Other applications, including YouTube and Netflix, can be signed into under various user profiles for a tailored user experience. Click on your profile and you should be signed in into all of your stuff, probably just like your fire-equipped TV at home. Some of the vehicle's sound animations have been composed by Oscar-winning Hans Zimmer, who has also composed melodic drive soundtracks for the all-electric and pretty silent otherwise i7 model. The theater's startup animation melody is one of the composed sounds. Number 4. Exterior 45 years on from the debut of the BMW 7 Series, the 7th model generation takes to the stage as the most advanced and innovative vehicle in the luxury segment. At the same time, the new edition captures the imagination with an overall design coherence unmatched by any rival. The BMW 7 Series is therefore once again a symbol of the BMW Group's innovative strength. The new 7 Series adopts a bold exterior design with larger grille and BMW's iconic lighting treatment, which which was first introduced in the facelifted 8 series. It also features a split headlight design, having the LED running lights positioned above the main beams in a separate recess. The design element was earlier seen on the facelifted X7 SUV as part of BMW's efforts to link its two luxury cars. Only two feature lines tend to be evident along the flanks along with the upper one running from the outer tip of the headlights through to the taillights. The new 7 also features door handles similar to the one seen on the iX and i4 EVS. At the rear, the new sedan would receive horizontal LED tail lights which would offer visual width. Thank you for staying with us this far. It's now time for the bonus fact. BMW has teamed up with Mobileye for the 7th Gen 7 Series, claiming the car features the world's first application of new 8.0 megapixel cameras. They claim that it will reduce the amount of hardware required for the sensor and camera array and double the amount of measurable data points for the onboard driver assistance system to analyze. What are your thoughts on the literal movie theater that will be included in this series? Too much? Comment down below and let us know what you think. If you enjoyed the content, uplift the channel by hitting like, subscribe, and ring the YouTube bell to meet us again in the next video. Until next time!